Praise the Lord. Greetings to everyone in the name of Jesus. I thank God for being here in this platform. Also, I am thankful to see all brothers and sisters whom God has brought to you here. Welcome to this uh, live video. I am happy to see all of you here. The Lord has given me a word. I have put the title as Be Serious. It is from the book of 1 Peter chapter 4 the verse 7 i will read but the end of all things is at hand therefore be serious and watchful in your prayers maybe many times i have ministered from this word but today the lord will speak in a different angle it is saying the end of all things is at hand therefore be serious and watchful in your prayers when you are traveling in a in a train i am saying an example when you are traveling in a train when the journey starts after placing your luggage perfectly in in certain places you will relax but when your destination is going to reach it is about to reach you will uh, check whether you have taken all the things and you will be not relaxing you will be serious because you are going to get down so you will be more cautious careful and you will be serious your mind has changed before you was you were relaxing when the journey was starting in the beginning you were relaxing you can sleep you can rest you are free but when your place of destination has reached where you have to get down, you cannot uh, rest, you cannot relax. But you are looking whether your place has come, so you will be serious. The same situation, I am just uh, saying an example. Now we are in the end time here. Peter is saying the end of all things have come. The end of all things have come. So you have to be serious and watchful in your prayers that is what your this uh, verse is saying so i will come back to the words later now i find this time to welcome everyone i'm happy to see all of you here god bless everyone sister shirley augustine happy days are coming and new things are coming new friend is coming things are going to be settled journeys are coming everything will go well daughter is blessed celebration is there in your house things are coming perfect new journeys are going to start so you will stay happily welcome sister rachel israel Financial breakthrough is coming. Expect a miracle. Financial deliverance. Eyes are opened. You will build the church. Things are settled. Greater things the Lord will do. Family blessings are coming. Eyes are opened. You will build the church. Things are settled. Greater things the Lord will do. Family blessings are coming. Eyes are opened. Church. Sister Rachel Israel, financial blessings I see, money is coming, you will build the church, things are settled, going abroad, you will visit the country Israel, financial breakthrough is coming, you will prophesy, new books are written about revelation, deep insight you are getting. Julie's Boda, new, new dates are given, happy times are coming you will get the land you will bear fruit life is going to change address is going to change enemy is defeated financial blessings prophecies you heard are coming to pass expect a miracle nancy's power work. you will see visions husband is touched financial deliverance greater things the lord will do healing over your body son will do the ministry you will travel and see greater things. Catherine Davila, you will prophesy ministries expanding. What you desire, God is going to give. 
there is a multiplication i see in every area address is going to change you will relax on the way pavitra ekula sister infection is sealed bills will be paid at the right time do not be upset husband is getting a new job family peace is coming money to travel things are settled greater things the lord will do evangelist carlos velos you will go to the northern side of the place where you are residing that is the place where you are going to be settled and do the ministry you will bear fruit you will have children things will be settled ministry doors are opening hallelujah janine digio family blessings lifestyle is going to change deliverance is taking place address is going to change increase in anointing boldness to take decision leg pain is healed child will be honored money is coming joy charian brother financial breakthrough is coming more prophecies are coming to pass you will step into the new systems and things are adopted in the new way new plans are coming sun will do the ministry nicolas gilbert enemy is defeated you will have peace money is coming happy days are coming journeys are coming to pass you are healed deliverance is taking place financial stability i see fran vincent there is a flight travel coming from east to west and the money is released healing over your skin power of god is coming financial breakthrough open heaven you see you settlement in the financial area krubashini krips the engine will be repaired expect a miracle new terms and conditions you have to look you will cross the sea invitation is coming you will be safe from the enemy gracie gracie the lord will honor you stay where you are and eyes are open you will be established greater things the lord will do physically healed money is coming change in the address everything will go well roshan tellis happy days are coming you will get the new address the new office is going to start there will be holy spirit given more in the indents and family blessings are coming you will have the new house the lane will be good everything will go well daira eva sister position is changing the lord will honor you eyes are open money is coming things are settled greater things the lord will do change in the direction everything will go effectively family peace you are healed peace in you and things are coming systematically new house you will get sun is blessed norma garsa sister change in the speed everything will go fast daughter is blessed immediate travels are needed there will be provision change in job you will stay near the city shari butler sister you will be honored in the same place pulpit is given family blessings you will minister people are healed do not look back everything will end in goodness steven d nilo brother eyes are open perfection in every area patience is needed for the next level fundamental things you have to keep obey the word and things will be settled happy moments are coming celebration is coming in your life ak jessica you will pass the test the books will be written you will study more you will go to the country uk and things are going to be settled financial deliverance healing over your skin hallelujah in the name of jesus prem roshan mathai is happy days are coming prophecies you heard are coming to pass expect a miracle business is going to be developed mother is healed things are coming perfect joyly rutledge evidence is there the lord will honor you and stay where you are until the more more power comes to you when the power comes you will travel and prophecies you heard are coming to pass you will buy the land ebony wakefield this is your time 
the waiting period is over prophecies you heard are coming to pass deliverance is taking place family blessings are coming address is going to change healing over your skin you will buy the new car thomas bag financial deliverance house warming is coming marriage is coming new changes in your life you will cross the bridge go abroad and get the new job donja rena thomas prophecies you heard are coming to pass expect a miracle life is going to change deliverance is coming financial breakthrough the lord will honor you everything will come well change in the address bagida juma the bills are paid family blessings are coming healing over your body new land is coming efficiency to do many things greater things the lord will do lifestyle is going to change address is changing remia rai sister the position is changing new job you are getting family blessings everything will end in goodness sun will get the knowledge and god will honor you lifestyle is going to change lily sugavo sister financial blessings mother is sealed prophecies you heard are coming to pass you will visit your country and healing over your skin sun will get good marks hallelujah edel grace cadelina husband is touched financial deliverance keys are there supporters there will be expect a miracle you will live in the big house julie nelly ruiz happy days are coming enemy is defeated do not look back life is going to change foreign things are coming expect a miracle physically he deliverance is taking place happy days are coming perfection in every area new terms and conditions are coming luda she financial breakthrough the lord will honor you position is changing expect a miracle in this season eyes are open you will see visions increase in anointing judy collins sister leg pain is healed deliverance is taking place you will start the teaching class ministry is opening expanding and eyes are open the lord will speak to you everything will go well in the name of jesus stefro sister the lord will establish you address is going to change a travel is coming emergency doors are opening leg pain is sealed and financial blessings are coming the lord will honor you in the name of jesus praveen pereira the battle is god's sudden improvement the lord will increase the anointing things are going to be settled perfection in every area problems are solved money is coming new languages are given family blessings everything will go well healing over your body hallelujah shanti manasi leg pain is seen a sudden improvement child will enter into problems things are settled greater things you will do family blessings new journeys are coming ani pamai deliverance is taking place and the position is changing enemy is defeated funds are released new land is coming expect a miracle life is going to change sudden improvement god is going to increase the anointing foreign travels are coming there is a flight travel coming carmen through sister the lord will increase the anointing change in the address insight is given blessings are coming expect a miracle prophecies you heard are coming to pass sudden reward is coming monica ramo sister children will be honored open heaven you see you, your position is going to change you are going to buy the house you have in your day expect a miracle back pain is seen deliverance is taking father is blessed hallelujah asha sovans financial breakthrough lifestyle is going to change greater things the lord will do boldness to take decision expect a miracle greater things uh, you will see you will see visions clearly that pictures are coming very well life is going to change so i will share the word a little then come back uh, 
as a spirit lead. I am ministering from the book of 1 Peter, chapter 4, verse 7. I will read that verse. It's a powerful word saying, but the end of all things is at, uh, is at hand. Therefore, be serious and watchful in your prayers. So be serious and watchful in your prayers. Because uh, it is speaking about the end time, there will be a test coming, there will be a temptation coming before the second coming of Jesus. Only those who have much faith will, will remain. Others will be called, will fall. They cannot stand during that trial. The trial will not be much in length, but it will be hard for those who have no faith. So you have you you should have more faith. You should be watchful and you should pray that you should remain till the last. You know the second coming of Jesus. Before the second coming of Jesus, there will be wars going, earthquakes, many problems. We are seeing all these things, pandemics, everything. So you should be watchful. So are you the same person when you join the church? When you join the church, you join the church for a deliverance. But when you are in the church, you are growing every day. Every day you are growing in Christ. So your prayer request must change. For example, if you have come to know Christ through a crisis, the crisis may be a disease or a financial crisis or a family problem. So in the beginning, because you have not, you are not much rooted in the world, your prayer request will be for a deliverance. But after attending the worship, attending the church, the meetings, hearing the sermons, reading Bible, meditating the word and you yourself praying, you will understand that you are not called actually for a breakthrough. You are not actually called for a financial deliverance or a, for a marriage or something that is in this world. You will understand that you are called for an eternity. You know, there was a thief who was crucified along with Jesus. He understood that his life is, in this world is more, something that is more beyond the life here. So he said to Jesus, remember me in your kingdom. And Jesus said, from this time onwards, you will be with me. So, if you are in right with God, if you are in, in the right place, you will know that there is a life after this world, so you will focus on that life and you will give second importance only to the life in this world. But many people, they are giving more importance to this world. They are not even thinking about uh, the eternal world. But what the thief said to Jesus, he, he, he can tell Jesus, Jesus, you are a man of God. You place, uh, you pray for me that they will release me, they will change their mind. The, the authorities, the Jews, the leaders, they will change their mind if you pray. So I will be released from the cross. He could have prayed like that. But he did not pray that, like that. He prayed, Jesus, remember me in your kingdom. Why is that? Because he knows that uh, Jesus is a man of God. He is a son of God. He is, he is the son of God himself. He is God himself. So he knows very well who Jesus is. So Jesus did not preach any gospel on the cross. But he heard about Jesus. Before also he might have heard. That's why he says, Remember me in your kingdom. He did not say, please uh, pray to God to release me from this cross. He did not say, uh, please pray for my children or like that. But what he prayed, remember me in your kingdom. So he realized there is a life. He was serious. 
before his death time, when he was about to be dying on the cross, he understood that it is the time, the end has come. So he became serious. His time has come, so he, he was serious. And his prayer was also changing. He prayed, remember me in your kingdom. So every day when you are in the church, you are becoming closer and closer to God. You are not the old person. Before you were a child, now you are a matured spiritual person. So your prayer request should, should change. Because it is the end. That is what your people are saying. The end of all things have come. The end of all things have come. So be careful, be watchful and sober and uh, be serious. How many of you are doing like that? Today when you wake up in the morning, how many of you thought about the second coming of Jesus? And how many of you prayed, Lord, prepare me for your second coming? How many of you prayed today? Uh, how many of you prayed that, Lord, when you come, I must stand with purity? How many of you prayed like that? I must have the faith when you come. Please take me when you come. How many of you prayed like this? This should be your prayer request because the end of all things has come. So this is the word. I will come back uh, to the word later. Now I find this time to welcome everyone. Maria Valence sister, Lord is going to honor you. A long journey is coming. Healing over your body, family deliverance is coming, life is going to change, things are settled, new journeys are coming. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Cheryl's story, new life is coming, financial blessings, journeys are coming, sun will do the ministry, increase in anointing, problems are solved, things are settled, expect a miracle, new friends are coming, deliverance is taking place in the name of Jesus. So I am checking the names in the name of Jesus. I am happy to see all of you here. Michael Mash Masi, foreign travels are coming. Invitation to minister is coming. The Lord will enlarge your territory. Breakthrough is coming. Power of God is there. Things will be settled and life is going to change. Sini Maria's sister, the Lord will honor you. Your prayers are answered. Deliverance is coming. New changes are coming. Expect a miracle. Address is going to change. Leo Dingho Tumald. Financial breakthrough is coming. You will board the flight. The business will be developed. Things are settled. Journeys are going to start. Breakthrough is coming. Harrison Harif. Financial breakthrough. New job you are getting. Prophecies you heard are coming to pass. You will step into the new area, a change in job. Stephane Magna, pain is relieved, you will have rushed. Financial breakthrough, open heaven you see, things are settled, breakthrough is coming. Change in the address, Pastor Joanne Chavas, deliverance is taking place, money is coming, new house you will get and son is blessed, son will do the ministry. Daughter is blessed. Life is going to change. Your address is going to change. Marriage is coming in the house. Priscilla Nanjan, Nanjana, financial breakthrough. Doors are opening. New job you will get. Family blessings. Prophecies you heard are coming to pass. Leg pain is sealed. Joy Sarasabula Marcos, family de deliverance. New job you are getting, battle is God's, evidence is clear, money is coming, more Holy Spirit is there, Debbie Lucero, manna is poor, the water will not come upon you, things will be settled, you will be safe and there is a wall of fire, you will have provision. 
Beto Vergara, deliverance is coming, new car is coming, address is going to change, expect a miracle, life is going to shine, things are settled. Alicia Vergara, open heaven you see, expect a miracle, change in address, deliverance is taking place, money is coming. Alexis Uria Kunsbury, new address, father is healed. Husband is touched. Expect a miracle. You will sleep well. In the name of Jesus. Vinita Roni. Family deliverance money to travel. Husband will get new job. Son will be blessed. Son will become the minister. Problems are solved. Son will become a prophet. Hallelujah. Rina Naik sister, husband is touched, money is coming, healing over your body, you and your family will be delivered, you will move to the new location, everything will end in goodness. In the name of Jesus, Anim Pamai, your position is changed, family blessings, open heaven you see, things are subtle, greater things the Lord will do, healing is coming. Perfection in every area. Sounds good. Expect a miracle. Mary Plata. Increase in anointing. Traveling abroad. Today you will see a miracle. Housewarming is coming. Things are settled. There is a travel coming. Meenakshi Ondela. Deliverance is there. Life is getting blessed. New journeys are there. Sudden improvement. You will sleep well. Peaceful stay. Change in the address, family blessings, Pastor Paul Vanakuta. Good news you will hear, financial stability, new house you will get, you will have an established church. The Lord has seen your heart, greater things you will do. Shondi Anderson sister, financial breakthrough. Power of God is coming. You will sleep well. Money is coming. Expect a miracle. You will get the new house. Son is blessed. The word for you, Sister Shondi Anderson. Hallelujah. Bean Peter Nike, brother, you are healed. Deliverance is there. You will sign the document. Expect a miracle. Financial breakthrough. New house you will get. Cynthia Hall. Son is blessed. You will relax. Money is coming. Address is going to change. Deliverance is taking place. Expect a miracle. House warming is coming. In the name of Jesus. Elizabeth Taylor, more Holy Spirit. Going to another state. Staying with your sister. Flight travels are there. You will sleep well. Dennis Thomas, brother. You will shop and you will have enough clothes. Deliverance is taking place. New persons are coming. Happy days are coming. You will have new address. Increase in anointing. Ashwini Anu Chetty. Family deliverance. Son will be honored. Lifestyle is going to change. Expect a miracle. Problems are solved. The keys are given. Battle is God's. Lekitwa medicine. Financial stability. Healing over your skin. You will be well safe from the unwanted people. There is a wall of fire. They will not access into your land. You will stay happily without fear. Things are coming perfect. Purity Mumbi. Deliverance is taking, you will have good rest, address is changing, new job you are getting, waiting period is over. Kimberly Matthews Scott sister, the system is changing, deliverance is taking place, money is coming, sun is blessed, ministry doors are open, you are healed and delivered. So I will give the word, then come and share the word as the spirit leads. I'm happy to see all of you here. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Carmen Co sister, eyes are opened.
the report will come in your favor deliverance is taking place life is going to change battle is god's open heaven you see evans walker position is changing granite flood house oil anointing is there things are settled news from abroad make you happy everything will go well change in address sandra joseph sister increase in anointing change in office you will have peace god has a purpose in your life it will be fulfilled you will take rest and travel in the name of jesus joyful christian you are healed happy days are coming dreams are coming to pass you will meet the right person expect a miracle you will have new personality everything will go well hallelujah so everyone has received the word i am happy to see every one of you here so all all have received the word those who have commented here everyone has received if anyone is saying that you have not received you have not received you can subscribe my youtube channel every day there will be the daily prophecies i will be ministering in that roda naithaba bu power of god is coming new house increase in anointing the leg pain is sealed you will travel palm allen back sister financial breakthrough life is going to change address is changing new doors are opening you will sleep well money is coming align h going abroad going to the western side family settlement you will get the new job deliverance is taking place life is going to change lavina disusa husband is touched new journeys are coming promotion is there deliverance is coming sudden improvement you are going to be honored hallelujah in the name of jesus in the name of jesus hallelujah so everyone has received the word i'm happy to see all of you here stephine magna holy spirit is given coming out from all problems you will sleep well the keys are given there will be supporters expect a miracle john cubot brother deliverance is taking family blessings you will minister abroad the lord will call you for the nations things will be settled hallelujah so everyone who have commented here i have given the word i am happy to see all of you here in the name of jesus hallelujah shala mashara hamda in the name of jesus so god bless everyone what i was sharing with you was uh, be serious it is the end time jesus is coming so get prepared you will have many prayer requests but give everything second secondary to all these things the primary is uh, getting prepared for the second coming of jesus so be serious your mindset should be changed when there is a tsunami in the land what will be your attitude you will be taking all your things and getting you will be packing all your things and even if there is a tsunami or an earthquake comes if you get a notification for that you will prepare everything for a journey from your house to come out from your house so you will be serious likewise you should be serious we are in the end time miracles you will see supernatural miracles you see when jesus comes so you should get prepared that's why uh, uh you that's why you are uh, peter is saying be serious in the name of jesus hallelujah so be serious your prayers should be changed your prayer requests should be changed you how many of you know the mind of god if you concentrate in some other things your prayer request will not be answered but if you concentrate in eternity and uh, if you are seeking the kingdom of god you will get your prayers answered hallelujah in the name of jesus
Hallelujah. So, you should know the mind of Christ. What Jesus said, first seek the kingdom and everything will be added to you. So, you look after the kingdom. What is needed for the kingdom? What is needed when Jesus comes? When Jesus comes, you need Holy Spirit. Those who are having spirit will be taken after those who have been in dead in Christ. So you need Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. You pray for that in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So I am happy to see all of you here. Shondi Anderson Susar address is changing. Stephen D. Nilo, new house you will get. Manoj Emanuel, everything will go well. Pavitra Ekla, new job you are getting. Carmen Cruz Susar, anointing is increasing. Rachel Israel Susar, For, foreign travels are coming. Janine Diglo, money is coming. Norma Garsa sister, payment is done. Stefro sister, you will have an increase in anointing. Sini Maria, happy days are coming. Joyful Christian, you will eat good food in the name of Jesus. Lavina D'Souza, husband is touched. Hallelujah. Opel Sindhya, headache is sealed. Life is going to change. New land is coming. You will prophesy. Expect a miracle. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Shanti Menaces. Keys are given. Alexis Zoria Queensbury. New address is coming. In the name of Jesus. Asha Sovens. Deliverance is taking place. So everyone has received the word. I'm happy to see all of you here. Nancy Sparwark, you will see visions in the name of Jesus. So God bless everyone. Monica Ramos, Holy Spirit is given more. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Align H, improvement in your life. John Kubert, brother, a journey is waiting. Jeremiah Torres, backward, address is changing, deliverance is coming. Leo Dingo, Tumald, expansion in the area you are doing. Kimberly Matthew Scott, financial stability. Sandra Joseph, new house you will get. Stephane Magna, power of God is coming. Alicia Vergara, change in life. Priscilla Nanjana, understanding. Beto Vergara, Prophecies you heard are coming to pass. Hallelujah. Purity, Mumbai, power of God is coming. Tonja Rene Thomas, expect a miracle. Prem Roshan Mata, is, deliverance is taking place. Dennis Thomas, increase in anointing. Daira Eva, sister, position is changing in the name of Jesus. Anim Pama, you will get the new job. Edel Grace Cadillac, address is changing. Maria Villan sister, financial breakthrough. Krubashni Cribs, life is going to change. Sister Shirley Augustine, you will see visions clearly. Gracie, Gracie, expect a miracle. So I am happy to see all of you here. Yeah? Everyone has received the word. Be serious. Be serious because the end has come and your mind should be changed, your attitude should be changed. This is what I am to say today. So God bless everyone. Lily Sugawa sister, new house you will get. Julie Nelly Ruiz, breakthrough is coming. Palm Ellen Beck sister, position is changing. Hallelujah. Mary Pla Plateau, power of God is coming in the name of Jesus. So, you should be fast, you should be quick, quick in everything. You practice like that because uh, it is the end time. It is not the time to relax. It doesn't mean that you should not take rest. You should be like the soldiers on the war front. You know the soldiers on the war front. On the borders, the soldiers will be very cautious. 
they will be fighting the enemy by shift some batch will come and fight when their time is over another will come and fight so the one who were fighting previously they will go and take rest but even if they are taking rest they will be well armed immediately when the commander or the the officer in charge give a message or telegraph that you prepare for the battle immediately they will come out from the rest and they will also be in the borders to fight so you should be like that your ministry is 24 hours not uh, 6 hours or 7 hours a policeman's duty is actually 24 hours a military military person a military of soldiers duty time is 24 hours not 10 to 5 a clerk's time is 10 to 5 a bank manager's duty time is 10 to 5 but a doctor's time is 24 hours an engineer's time is 10 to 5 those who are working in the uh, in the state government in the central government those who are working in private sectors they have a duty time either day or night there will be a shift but a policeman a soldier those who are working in railway they will have 24 hours because in an emergency all those who are taking rest even though they are they have worked a day full day but if there is an emergency coming without thinking about their rest they have to report to the office they have to join the others so they should not complain we worked all the day they cannot complain we we want rest that is their duty likewise your duty is to pray for others 24 hours your duty is to preach 24 hours 24 into 365 days 24 into 7 days hallelujah so that is your calling that is be serious you are called for a revival you are called for a great purpose I will read one verse, then I will conclude the message. Janice Weber sister, increase in anointing, foreign travels are coming, God is going to honor you, new journeys are coming, the blanket of anointing is coming, the gifts are going to be activated. So here Peter is saying about be serious. One word I will read, it is, it's a powerful word. So. It is from the book of uh, 1 Corinthians. Remya Rai, sister, address is going to change. 1 Corinthians chapter 7. I am taking 1 Corinthians chapter 7. Hallelujah. Chapter 7, verse 29. I will read it. Uh, verse 29. 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 29. Here, Paul is saying, but this I say, brethren, the time is short, so that from now on, even those who have wives should be as though they had none. It's a powerful word. So who is going to marry? Whose prayer request is for marriage? You must keep this in your mind. Your marriage will take place at God's time. If God has prophesied about your marriage, it will come. If you, if you are called with a married life, it will come. But you keep this in your mind because that is what Peter is saying. Peter is saying the end, is at, end has come, so be serious. Be serious and pray watchfully. So that is 1 Peter 4, 7. Here, 1 Corinthians 7, 29. Here Paul is saying, But this I say, brethren, the time is short, so that from now on, even those who have wives should be as though they had none. It, it doesn't mean that they should go and divorce their wives, but the end, is ta end time has come, has come. As a soldier who is having married life, what he will be doing at the war time 
he is getting prepared to fight in the in the war on the borders that is what he is going to do so that is what your peter is saying paul is saying but this i say brethren the time is short so that from now on even those who have wives should be as though they had none those who weep as though they did not weep who is weeping who is weeping today who is crying who is saying i want deliverance so here the verse is saying those those who weep as though they did not weep those who rejoice as though they did not rejoice those who buy as though they did not possess and those who use this world as not misusing it for the form of this world is passing away so that is what uh, your uh, peter and paul are saying be serious and watchful so your prayer request should be changed you must keep your prayer request in your one side in your heart but don't spend 24 hours thinking about your prayer request if you are thinking 24 hours about your deliverance you will not get deliverance you will be you will be like the israelites in the wilderness they forgot about the land where milk and honey are flowing but they are thinking about meat and water you you put your prayer request in one side of your heart or in your mind and you focus on the end time hallelujah that is what the time is near so be serious and watchful so your mindset should be changed your attitude should be changed so this is the word i am happy to see all of you here day after tomorrow i will be coming and ministering here day after tomorrow so uh, god bless everyone i will be praying for you pray for me also jesus name amen